find 7 out of 10 people who come out of prison are back within 3 years. It's gotten so bad that the Supreme Court of the United States has said that it's unconstitutional. So we need to dramatically overhaul the system. We need to reform it. In order to do that, we need somebody who's been working from the outside to reform the system for the last few years. That's exactly what I've been doing. I started my career, uh, Chris was just talking about Walden House. I started at Walden House Adolescent Facility, counseling delinquent kids, helping them turn their lives around. Uh, after law school at Stanford, I worked at Legal Services for Children, providing free legal services to low-income kids in the city, particularly kids who had been arrested at school. So, so I really started out in the community and advocacy world. I've also worked for some of the leading criminal justice reform organizations in the country, such as the National Council on Crime and Delinquency, where I really focused on alternatives to incarceration for juveniles, and the W. Haywood Burns Institute for Juvenile Justice, Fairness, and Equity, which focuses on overrepresentation of youth of color in our juvenile justice system and what we can do to make the system fairer for all youth. From there, I moved into the Mayor's Office of Criminal Justice, where I ran juvenile justice programs for the city and then became the Deputy Director, worked very closely with law enforcement, from the Sheriff's Department to the Police Department to the DA's Office to the Probation Department, and later was appointed to the San Francisco Police Commission, which is a civilian oversight body of the Police Department. And in both of those positions, I took national best practices from around the country and brought them to local law enforcement here. I brought it all together at Berkeley Law School, where I founded the Berkeley Center for Criminal Justice, with the mission of bringing law enforcement and community together to build collaboration around pragmatic criminal justice reforms. That's what I've been doing my whole career. That's what this campaign is about. We need to work collaboratively with the community. Let me give an example of that quickly from my career on the issue of getting jobs with people coming out of prison, which is a real issue in this city with realignment, with more prisoners on their way home, uh, and especially in the Tenderloin, where a lot of prisoners come. The number one thing we can do to help someone reintegrate is to help them get a job. But people face so many barriers coming out of prison and coming back to the communities and trying to get jobs. So we had a project that brought together the most diverse group of people you can possibly imagine. One-third were law enforcement and corrections leaders, one-third were community and advocacy leaders, and one-third were employers, because if you're talking about jobs, you need to have employers at the table. I brought them all together, everyone from the head of the prison guards union on one side to formerly incarcerated advocates who had spent 20 or more years behind bars themselves on the other side and was able to get consensus from this group on a range of reforms to help people get jobs coming out of prison. That's exactly the approach I'll take in the DA's office. Bring everyone to the table, particularly the community and other law enforcement agencies, and let's problem solve together on pragmatic solutions. Okay, the other thing I'm going to focus on is what works. And uh, let me talk about a couple things here. Uh, when I was in the mayor's office, I helped do a study of homicides and shootings in San Francisco that found that over 50% of the homicides and shootings occurred in less than 2% of the landmass of San Francisco. And you won't be surprised to know what the areas were. The Tenderloin, Biz Valley, Bayview, Western Edition, and the Mission had over 50% of the homicides and shootings in San Francisco, even though they were less than 2% of the landmass. As I moved into the police commission, with the police department, we helped develop the violence reduction initiative, or the zone strategy, that broke, uh, broke the 2% into the five zones, the five neighborhoods I just mentioned. We flooded both community and police resources through those areas. In 2009, because of a lot of hard work from people in the community and in law enforcement, homicides went down to over 50% in San Francisco, which was the biggest one-year drop in the country. So when we focus on what works, following the data to guide our decision-making, we can have a dramatic impact on crime. What else works, one minute, thank you, is uh, focusing on juveniles. And that's been one of the focus, uh, one of my focuses my entire career is working with juveniles and helping them turn their lives around. I'll make juvenile justice the top priority in my DA's office because every kid we can keep from going to the adult system makes our streets safer. That's the best investment we can make. I'm going to start a restorative justice program that brings victims and juvenile offenders together in the juvenile system. Victims love it. Uh, they have higher satisfaction ratings, and offenders will reoffend much less often. Join my campaign. We have over 1,900 people from the Police Chiefs Association to uh, over 30 members of SFPD to members of the Board of Supervisors, six of the seven members of the school board, the teachers' union, SEIU, local 1021 just endorsed me. The list is huge from every neighborhood in the city, pages and pages of community and advocacy leaders from every part of the city. I thank you for your time, and I hope you'll join us. And I don't know if I have time for questions or not. No. Your name? David Onik. Thanks, folks.